Hey guys, welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, sorry it's been a couple of days. I had a busy weekend, it was my birthday. Um, yeah, haven't had much time to sit down and record. Uh, so here we are, we've just finished In Defense of Brawl. We had a little introduction of all the characters, well, some of the characters. And then we had a two part battle. We had to advance on foot to try and take back the mill. Uh, the Empire rolled in a tank and we turned the f around. I'm like, nope. So, Welkin, Alicia, and Random Town Guard have got out. We need to go and get Isara from the look of it. Ah, uh, Martha. Of course. Be okay. Pregnant lady. Martha! What's her problem? Is she pregnant or just fat? Who cares? Not gonna make any difference when she's dead. Stop this now! See what she's wearing? Take a good look at that shawl. She's a darkson. And that explains it. I thought this place stunk. Now I know it does. <laughs> so we got ourselves a fat one and a stinky one. P.U. It's a regular pig farm in here. Roll! I don't thank you to watch your tongue in this house. You have to leave now. That's a big gun for such a little girl. Drop it. Isara! Huh? Hold it right there! Oh, really? Die! Dark son, pig! Oink, oink. Isara! Are you okay? I'm okay thanks to you. But Martha, I think she's... Martha! This isn't good. She's gone into labor. Moving her would be dangerous. Right. Well, we can't just leave her here. What are we gonna do? There are a lot of Imperials out there, Ys. It's only a matter of time before they take over the Mill Plaza. I thought they already did. Welks, listen. The barn out back. What about it? Our fathers have left us something. Something that might get us out of this mess. It's really not a time to be cryptic, is it? Let's be honest. Just be like, well, there's a freaking tank in the barn. Oh yeah, there's a tank in the barn. Dad's tank. Whoa, I can't believe it's still here. And it's one of a kind. Here it is, the Edelweiss. Tamer built it especially for General Gunther. Yeah, and it worked great too. So it's just been parked here in the barn? I wanted to make sure it would still operate, you know, in case of emergencies. I enrolled in a maintenance class given by the military. I wanted to be able to do what my father could do. Well, that's great. But that's only a class, Isara. It really didn't need much. Hardly any alterations at all. I just fitted it with a new turbine engine. It really improves on the power to weight ratio. The Edelweiss is field worthy. Its firepower and mobility are more than a match for recent models. Well, assuming it does work. What's next? All we right. get yes. out. You took the armored vehicle course, didn't you? Yeah. Back in high school. Once. We'll bring Martha here. She'll be safe inside the tank, and we can move to a better location. Just leave the driving to me, okay? All you have to do is give the orders. Isara! We ready to roll? 
Engaging engine. The Edelweiss is ready for deployment. Alicia could still be out there dodging bullets, buying time for people to evacuate. Here's the plan. We're gonna pick up Alicia and get out of town. All right, Edelweiss. Move out! I mean, we did sort of just peg it to the exit and leave Alicia behind. Um, it's kind of our bad. Alright, new episode is added. Retreat from Brawl. Escape from Brawl, retreat from Brawl. Here's the brief for this operation. What are you doing here? Okay, um, right. The enemy squad is centered around a single tank currently advancing from the plaza onto the main road. We need to defend the gate on that road. If the enemy branch breaches it, the evacuating townspeople will be in danger. They'll probably head for the gate and try to destroy it. The tank will be with them. Our goal here is to take out that tank while pe keeping the gate standing. Without the help of your tank, it's next to impossible for us to destroy their tank. Until we can rendezvous, the Brawl Town Watch will do everything we can to keep that gate in one piece. The Town Watch will need to hold off the enemy forces until you arrive with the tank. We need to use sandbags around the starting point and gate for cover to hold back the Empire's attack. Victory conditions, the enemy tank is destroyed, the failure is Brawl's main gate is destroyed, Welkin dies, Alicia dies, or 20 times right, pass. let's begin. We've got to stop them here. If this gate falls, there's going to be even more casualties among the townspeople. The town watch will defend this gate so as many people as possible can get away. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain. About sandbags and hand grenades. Okay. Uh, by moving behind sandbags and selecting crouch, Eum's defenses are maximized and extra damage for headshots is negated. Well, we know that already. While focusing on defense or anyone's turn, it's always best to hide this way. Contrarily, this means that any enemies behind in cover are well protected and more difficult to defeat as well. This is why the hand grenade is used. An explosive power can destroy sandbags. Press the X button, the weapon toggle button, to cycle among your options to hand grenades. In this battle, Alicia possesses some. Grenades are limited in number, so use them wisely. Each player phase, units will recover one hand grenade. Okay. So Alicia's the only one with grenades. Which means which means nothing at the moment actually. Moving out. Um beyond that I've just got to make sure Um I don't have a sniper, which would make things a lot easier if I did. You're out of range for me to do anything with you. You're very much out of range for me to do anything with you. I don't see anything else. Enemy sighted. Wait, what where? Enemy unit spotted. Oh, okay. Um Brain is hurting on this one. Let's see. I can't even throw that very far. Um, send that there. 
and let's move this guy just a little bit more this way that way he can see anything happening and just make sure that this guy's crouched down oh I could put him up here actually yes what do you see with your bead little eyes Yeah, too much is what he says. Six to kill. An absolute fuck ton to kill. Ah. Six. Okay. Um, let's line up on this one a little bit. No, actually. Let's do this one. Okay, missed everything. Perfect. Okay. Blink, 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 blink. So, I'm fairly sure the tank just. Yeah, that's all the tank is going to do. So, that's fine. That takes a lot of the pressure out, actually. Okay. Oh, he took a chunk. So he's got better armor. No, he's one of the captains. Jesus. Yeah, that wasn't even fair. About Ragnade. A small amount of damage is healed at the start of each player's phase. Sometimes the unit that's suffered heavy, dam heavy damage needs help to arrive faster. They need Ragnade. Yet yeah, another product of Ragnade. Oh, Ragnade combines healing and antibiotic properties into a single medical package. Sit it with the X button and press RB button and select a target. Place the crosshairs on a nearby alley to heal them or place them on no one. Use this handy item to heal yourself. All right, I'm not going to use Alicia because she's uh, face up against the guy who apparently is crouched. Crap. Which kind of means I have to end up using her. She's the one with the grenades. I should have moved out the other town guy. My turn, okay? No, nope, not okay. Oh fuck! The tank's hitting me as well. That's bad news. Fuck. 
Okay, well, I might as well just take a couple of pot shots at this dude. Ah, got him. 10 health. Feed it. Ah, uh, Alicia's in trouble. I can't use her anymore. I shouldn't need to, though. No! If this keeps up... Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, that was far too close. Oh, no. Oh, no, come on. will defend this so let's use my brains uh, let's get this guy up on high again because that worked out okay let's do the pot shots and that worked Crouch this guy. My turn. Okay. And let's keep Alicia crouched down here. And actually, let's just preemptively. Actually, no. Well, I can move her a little bit closer. Could blow up those sandbags straight away. I could at least try. I mean, might as well I and get one grenade. No. Okay. Good to know. You know what, I probably should have put Alicia up into the tower. That would make more sense. Because then she'll get like a... Ooh, shot sir. Because then she'll get a better range on those grenades. Plus she's not the disposable one, so yeah. That was weird. I like how he died though. Alright, I'll do that. I'll move Felicia across. No, I won't, because I needed to have brought the other guy down first. I'm an idiot.
Ah, uh, that that was costly a little bit. There we go. There we go. It's been a very long day. My brain kind of hurts a little bit. No, if this keeps up. Was one turn off. Okay. Da, 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 da. So the tank takes two. The tank should be able to breach that wall. It may provide us with a shortcut, Welk. All right, let's give it a shot. Hang in there, Alicia. About tanks. Tanks possess firepower and endurance far beyond a foot shoulder soldiers. They're able to deflect menial gunfire fire from enemy foot soldiers. This will make them a solid wall for your own ground units to hide behind. Unlike ground units, however, tanks do not recover a lost portion of a portion of their lost HP each turn. Tanks also consume two CP when selected in command mode. Run too heavily on tanks in battle and will quickly lead to a fatal shortage of CP. Yeah. Additionally, the tanks require AP to turn. So take care to plan ahead which direction you'd like to face at the end's turn. Turns in. Surprise! It's a tank! It's a galleon tank! Alicia, I'm sorry we're late. Welkin, you have a tank? We can talk later. Right now, we need to stop those soldiers. Enemy tanks sighted, Welks. Switching to anti-tank combat. Armor-piercing shells loaded. All right, let's go take it down. Uh, am I gonna make it in time? Tanks have three major means of attack anti armor, explosive mortar, and mounted machine gun. Anti armor shells are effective against enemies covered in hard armor. Explosive mortars will hit a broad area with a ragnite blast against ground units. Mortars travel in an arc, aim for a center of multiple foes for major results, but be aware that ammunition is limited. The machine gun is best suited to striking enemies at too close for mortar and is used to intercept incoming enemies. Press the button to switch between weapons that meet the needs of each situation. Hi, buddy! Now. Thanks, have two separate HP total, body and tread. 
Attacks to the tank's body and main cannon will reduce body HP, while blows to the treads will reduce tread HP. If body HP reaches zero, the tank is destroyed. If tread HP reaches zero, AP is drastically cut. It is easier to deal damage to the treads than the body, even with grenades. Halting a tank before taking it out at your leisure may be a strategy that's both safe and sensible. The glowing blue radio pl radiator plate at the tank's rear is its weak point, where even standard bullets can do reasonable damage. Try to get behind enemy tanks for a chance to take them down, and be careful not to expose your own radar style fire. Alright, that's out, so let's do exactly what it told us not to do and just spam the tank. time when he uh, comes to have his turn. Alright, one more shot on the enemy tank and we should be good to go. Fire! Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. Yes, we stopped it. Nice work, East. Now you're my hero, Welkin. The Imperials are running off for now. Looks like we bought some time at least. Second time's a charm, right? Welks! Welks! It's a boy! Martha had a boy! She... she gave birth in Dad's tank? Yes, and without complications. They're both perfectly healthy. Good. That's fantastic. Now let's stay sharp as we head out of town. Oh. I did not deserve that A rank, but okay. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. My brain, my brain switched off the first time I was doing this. It's it was still not great the second time, to be fair, because I did not think to put Alicia in that tower quick enough. But hey ho, that's why we can replay things. Two hours after the first shots were fired, Bruel was under Imperial control. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Bruel would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Gallian hero. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive. But I've also seen them help each other. Almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why I want to be a teacher. So that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? Welks, look. Martha 
fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See, Alicia? Oh, he's adorable. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look, that's your hometown. Someday, we'll come back home again. Yes. Someday soon. I know it. Ah, uh, can you feel the cheese? Chapter 3, Vassal Urban Warfare. Okay. Right, well, to be fair, when I started this, I never said I was going to be good at this game. Just thought I'd try my best. Alright, I fucked up. I accept that I fucked up. But, next episode, I think, is where things start getting interesting. We, uh, we get to meet a lot more characters and we get a lot more uh, classes. So, I will see you there for the Vassal Open Urban Warfare. Take care, guys.